In this example, we will be estimating the square root of 85 to the nearest tenths place value. To do this, we first need to take a look at perfect squares nearby to 85. An example of this is 9 squared, which is 81, and 10 squared, which is 100. We can see that 85 lies right between 81 and 100. Using this information, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 81 is less than the square root of 85, which is less than the square root of 100. And we can write this because 81 is less than 85, which is less than 100. Now we can rewrite the square root of 81 as 9 because 9 squared is 81. And then we can rewrite the square root of 100 as 10 because 10 squared is 100. Now we can see that the square root of 85 lies between 9 and 10. However, it'll be closer to 9 because 85 is closer to 81 than it is to 100. Now let's try to estimate the values of the square root of 85 by looking at tenths place decimals between 9 and 10. Let's start with 9.3 times 9.3, and we'll see how close we can get to 85. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. Add our 0. 9 times 3 is 27, carry the 2, and 9 times 9 is 81, plus 2 is 83. When we add these together, we end up getting 86.49 which we can see is close to 85. Let's try 9.2 times 9.2 and see if that's a little bit closer. 2 times 2 is 4. 9 times 2 is 18. Add our 0. 9 times 2 is 18. Carry the 1. 9 times 9 is 81. Plus 1 is 82. When we add these together, we end up getting 84.64. Now, 86.49 is 1.49 away from 85. 84.64 is 0.36 away, meaning that 9.2 times 9.2, or 9.2 squared, is closer to 85 than 9.3 times 9.3, or 9.3 squared. So we can estimate the square root of 85 to be approximately 9.2.